Factsverse presents Nine Horrible Secrets About Fuller House. Number 1. Jody Sweeten, like many child stars, developed substance abuse problems. She began drinking after the TV show ended. For around 15 years, she used a variety of drugs and was addicted. She is now clean and has written a book about her experiences. Jody Sweeten, who is only 34 years old, was married three times before announcing her engagement this year. Justin Hodick is also an ex-addict. Number 2. John Stamos received a DUI charge in Beverly Hills. When he was arrested, he was under the influence of GHB, a club drug. He was put on probation for three years. A month later, he went into rehab. He is now clean and sober. After a long marriage to Rebecca Romine, an actress and model who was much younger than himself, he filed for divorce in 2004. They had no children and the divorce was smooth. They did not stay friends after their marriage was over. Stamos says he wants to remarry and have children. A Michigan couple fabricated false stories in an attempt to blackmail John Stamos. The stories involved strippers, an underaged girl, and cocaine. The couple was found guilty of conspiracy in this extortion case. Number 3. Bob Saget was a clean-cut dad on the Full House series, but his behind-the-scenes behavior was much different. He liked to pull dirty pranks and tell dirty jokes. His crude behavior often bothered others on the set. One example was the obscene gestures he made to a large doll that represented the young cast members. He did not realize the TV monitors were on at the time. Number 4. Mary-Kate Olsen was the first person to be notified after her friend Heath Ledger died of an overdose. The maid who found Ledger called Mary-Kate before calling the police. Olsen responded by sending a security guard to Ledger's residence. This has led some people to assume Olsen had knowledge of Ledger's situation or perhaps was involved in the actor's death. For months, she was pressured by the federal government to reveal what she knew about Heath Ledger's drug use. She refused to do so unless she was granted immunity. The case was eventually closed, but people continue to speculate on how much Mary-Kate knew about the situation. Mary-Kate has also received treatment for anorexia nervosa, the eating disorder. There were rumors that her deteriorating appearance meant she was abusing drugs or was addicted to drugs. Number 5. Dave Coulier dated Alanis Morissette after his divorce from model Jane Modian. Some people believe the song You Oughta Know is about Coulier. When he was interviewed in 2008, he said he agreed with this belief. Number 6. Candace Cameron's religious views occasionally caused conflicts between herself and her fellow cast members and producers. Shortly after the series ended, she married Valery Burr, a Russian-born hockey player. As a born-again Christian, Candace has been quite vocal about her role as a submissive wife. Her conservative views on marriage upset many people. Some feel she may not be a positive influence on her young fans. Candace has been outspoken on her views of same-sex marriage. She spoke out in support of an Oregon baker who refused to make a wedding cake for a same-sex couple and supported Chick-fil-A's stand against same-sex marriage. She was absent from the Views episode that covered Kim Davis, who refused to grant marriage licenses to same-sex couples. She has received a considerable amount of backlash over her outspoken viewpoints and is rumored to have received death threats. When she was in her early 20s, Candace struggled with bulimia nervosa, an eating disorder. Number 7. The Olsen twins landed their roles on Full House when they were only six months old. They were nine months old when they started filming the show. Cast member John Stamos did not like working with them. They were nearly fired from the show because they cried so much. Before he realized he did not enjoy working with babies, he asked that new babies be hired to replace the twins. Number 8. Lori Laughlin was spared the drama and difficulties that haunted her Full House castmates. After a long marriage ended in divorce, she eloped with Massimo Giannulli, a fashion designer, on Thanksgiving Day in 1997. The couple has two daughters and Lori became a stepmother to her husband's son. Number 9. 
Some people wonder if there is a dark secret between the original Full House series and its sequel, Fuller House. In the episodes of the new series, most of the original cast members appear in either main roles or recurring roles. The absence of both Mary-Kate Olsen and Ashley Olsen has resulted in a considerable amount of speculation and rumors. An incident that added fuel to the fire was Twitter exchanges between John Stamos and Mary-Kate Olsen. While Mary-Kate initially said she and her twin sister had not been notified about the new show, Stamos stated this was not true. More recent reports say the real reason behind their absence is nothing more than career differences. Mary-Kate is focusing on a fashion career, and Ashley has given up acting. The twins have said not appearing on Fuller House is not about a dark secret, but only bad timing. However, the show's producers have not given up on Mary-Kate and Ashley entirely. They are hoping one of the actresses will change her mind and decide to appear on Fuller House when it is in its second season. Subscribe for more!